Hey guys, welcome back to the Underground Arena. Um, we're gonna be hosting it again, and here's our casters. Hey boys, it's Seiya. So today I'm joined by these two fools, Diggers and Matt. I think they need no, need no introduction today. Hello. I'm, uh, I'm not in space today. Oh, you're not muted today. That's nice. Of you. That's yeah. nice. Ah, That's good to hear. Yes, yes, that is. We are already starting nice. better than last week, huh? <laughs> I see. <laughs> okay, so today we'll have uh, Sujun and Arcus. So, so Dick, oh. Sujun, introduce him. Thank you. Well, oh wait, I mean... never mind. Rules first. Sorry, rules first. Matt, go. Hi. So each match will be last one hour. Um, today we have a combat echelon limit of seven, one dummy. Um, on top of that. Um, the bands are the same for last week in terms of the global. Sorry, I've got my screen all out of whack here. Something broke on my end. Take W. Technical difficulties already. Um, where is that note? Wow. Hello. Sorry, guys. Okay, so uh, Shijin may not use them for a one grape MK A23 P22 reveal. Urkis may not use AI94 K2 AR15. Apparently, Thunder and uh, six, six P sixty two. Uh, I'm gonna correct him. So the global bands for the uh, that's, uh, that's an interesting one for sure. The CN fight oh. is SSG M two hundred EF fifteen AS fail, which is two thousand. EN team may not use uh grape M four twenty AP twenty two. ESVL and Mark twenty three. So these are the global bands. We'll uh, touch on the um uh, target the bands in a bit. All right. Yes, and oh. uh, keep in mind we also has increased the uh, combat uh, echelon uh, this week from uh, to seven combat echelon and one dummy echelon uh, as a limit. So uh, we might see the t uh, tactics change a little bit because we have more teams in hand. That is correct. So uh, other than that, they are free to deploy all five HOCs if they want to, but. Uh, to carry on to what Dick said, strategy should change considering that um there are more echelons, combat echelons this time. You might see um people shifting into a more um combat based strategy than a control based strategy. But we shall see what the uh, what our participants will do. Yep. Uh... And, okay. Uh, First, introduce our uh, cast, uh, one of the uh, EN competitors, uh, Arcus. Yes, uh, Seiya, what uh, do you have for him? So, Arcus, um, he's one of our guide makers, but most of you don't know him because he's usually behind the scenes doing uh, theory crafting and stuff. But, uh, yeah, you, jobs. yeah the, basically, he's the uh, 30 job that nobody sees. Um, so he is also a regular ranker since the beginning of time in the uh, EN server. He has ranked in all rankings. I think he made top 100 for most of them. But yeah. And top um, one in Isomer. Keep in mind. No, actually, Ceres took top one, wasn't Oh, it? yeah, Ceres. Yeah, Ceres took yeah. top one for Isomer. Uh, Arcus was top one at one point. So um, he is good at ranking, to say the least. But yeah, um, for him, I more or less, the, when Horko uh, brought this idea up for this esports thing, I pretty much said, asked him, hey, do you want to join esports? He's like, I don't know, okay. Then he said, he said jokingly that he wants yeah, then, to get Yeah, then, I don't know, he's okay. And then, then he expected something easy, but apparently Horko brought the big gun, so... Here, here he is, you know. <laughs> and uh, speaking of the big gun, we on the other side we have Sejun. Uh, Sejun uh, is a very, it's a uh, very very famous um, CN player out there. Um, not because he's like the top 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 ranker like you know ha Hana, but because he's a very prolific guide maker. He 
is the ranker to look when you you know start ranking you know when you look at the strats and say i think you do look at his strats when you're ranking right you know when yeah you're that is track. yeah that is correct because um back when it's a uh, polarized light for and uh yeah pellet work is this polarized light ranking he pretty much did like almost 15 runs 15 different runs on the 15 different looking accounts yeah yeah so basically he he has done a um a, a lot. lot of a, a lot yeah. of rankings he is the guy that we look at when we are doing theory crafting when we are look, looking at uh, looking mm-hmm. at openers when we're looking at um to edit our own openers based on his videos based on his openers so basically he is the pillar stone of uh the ranking scene over in the foreign server however i don't think you i don't think you, you want to discount arcus for uh his uh, technical skills and uh especially uh if you want to look at the ban list do you, do you want to look at the ban list or, or... <laughs> Um, let's talk about uh, Suzun a little bit more. Um, so more or less, right? Um, all most of our strategies derives from him. So, yep. uh, do you want to talk about maybe your PO experience, maybe your DR experience? Well, have you have you looked up videos on his channel? My PO experience is that I basically followed Suzun's guy step by step because it's it's that kind of ranking. So you know that happens for uh, DR for whole two. I essentially uh, there is a consensus of a opener like of a very set opener, and Suzun is the one of the guys uh, developing it. So yeah, very famous guy out there. But uh, you know he. He had been streaming PNC lately, where I know say you have been playing. Uh, it's a very addictive game, and maybe, maybe he would underperform due to the lack of practice recently. Um, yeah, and- we shall see about that. So, Matt, we have the bad list here. Do you want to go through it? Yes, so now that we are ready. Um, so, in terms of our global band, I would say I touched. Uh, for EN, you've got your uh, Hijin may not use in the local band. Or, yes, Hijin may not use in the local band. M4A1, Grape, MK23, P22, and Gable. Uh, on the other hand, for EN, Arcus may not use N94, K2, AR15, Thunder, and 662. Um, with that, I want to bring in some uh, factoids there. K2 is to block KCCO campers and 94. Uh, is mostly for the KCCO campers or your bossing team. So his okay. his attack is to eliminate camping options as well. Okay, so to uh sorry, just to correct Matt a little bit, it's uh the EN ban is what Sujun ban for EN. So uh the EN side is not allowed to use K two six P Thunder EN ninety four and ER fifteen. So we can kind of see yeah. a little bit of a mean pick in a sense, um, considering he banned our Lord and Savior Yi Jong's daughter. How yep. dare him? How dare him defy our God and Savior Yi Jong? Um, <laughs> well, I I hope I. I guess when you just sees this, he might smite uh, Sujin out of this ranking. Who knows? You know, maybe some code free <laughs> memes out like out somewhere. I don't know. But <laughs> is it really that big of a meme? Like, look at it. Like, you got K two, you have A ninety four, you have Star. These three uh, dolls are essential for camping KCCO. And considering you have a seven echelon set up this time. You are going to allocate more teams to camp KCCO, and you know Sijun may want to go for a like Sijun's ban may w- want to deter Arcus from actually you know uh, camping too much of KCCO, which is one of the reasons why Hana and Hoshi won last week. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I do agree with you because uh, having banned these three rate of fire dolls, considering that uh, this is a no no doll duplicate, no fairy duplicate setup that we're running this tournament on, so they are not allowed to use these dolls limits a lot on uh, Arcus's side, whether um, on the amount of uh, rate of fire based T dolls you can use. I mean, you can count um, the ones remaining if you're one with one hand, really. 
we only have uh, ACR left, we only have G11 left, we have, uh, who else? Who else do we even have? Uh, Angelica? Angelica, Aug. Yeah. Yeah, all good jokes. And um, that's really, that's yeah, it, really. it, it dwindles numbers, yeah. Type 97, yeah, type 37. Yep, and then, um, maybe if you want to count in AK-12, yeah. All right. All right. Okay, so we are on our main screen now. Um, we are going to prepare to start. Whenever the matches the match starts, we will let you know. So on the left we have Arcus, on the right we have Sujun. Right. Matt. Right. And I believe we have match start. We have match start. Yeah. Yep, match start. Here we go. Right. As you can see, Arcus is still yet to deploy any team while. Uh... Arcus, why are you doing Arcus? Arcus I think even... Shijin is watching for us to start and we're really stalemating. Uh, yeah, we're kind of stalemating right now. Um, Maybe we maybe should start we start, we're gonna wait for Arcus to start, then Shijin's going to start. That's what we're going to do. While well, Shijin is just standing there, menacing. Yeah, I, 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 uh, Shijin was restreaming the pre-stream earlier, so I think he's definitely watching this. So I think he's waiting for kind of us to He's Get not even. Up to him. Yeah, he's, he's not even watching menacingly. He's getting bonked by things. No, I'm getting bonked by things. Okay, go. So uh, here we go. Uh, the start of the battle. All right. So we should see a very similar strategy to last time, considering um. Uh, the opener, rather. So it should be a turn to Gustav, unless uh, either player surprises us. I don't know. Maybe, like, consider Sujin surprise us with, you know, a, a that uh, 6p ban. Maybe he's going to surprise us with a uh, different opener. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Also, Sujin is uh, lagging behind. He's uh, going to be one minute behind. We'll, we'll take the you know, deficit. Yeah, well, he's getting bonked by shit. Oh my god. What, 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 what are those things that's getting bonked by? <laughs> I think those are donations or something. Yeah, I think those are donations. It's getting bonked by donations. Okay, so, uh, Arcus is bombing all the buildings from to yeah. Yeah, so, it uh, should be the standard opener. Um, I'm yeah, curious to see open. whether he's gonna bomb all the rocks or just open up something. To uh open up some open up Here the rocks go. to just grab open a popping to the zombie area. Sorry. And uh, and it appears Shijin has finally started moving. Yep. Yep. Finally. And, uh, Matt, okay. Can you describe what they're doing. Hi. So right now Shijin is just doing his usual setup uh to prepare. I'm guessing for the detonation. Um and then. Got some more just general early preparation, um, preparing the campers across. I think, uh, uh, I think his chat on the Sudan side did mention that he banned parachute for himself, or rather, he's not allowed sure? to use parachute. Are you sure? Apparently, really? I don't know. I'm not. Oh, there, oh, there it is. That's a parachute. That's a parachute. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Sorry. I, I want to point out that it doesn't appear that Arcus opened up an elite. Uh, open up what? Sorry, he, he didn't open up Elid. He did uh, clear some Ooh. rubble. It, did he? Yeah, he did. Okay, he did. I, yeah, he did okay. clear some rubble already, so he already opened up. Okay, yeah, I, I, I gotcha. It's a classic strat of like uh, getting the Elid zone open up. Um, okay, there it is. My bad. Okay, okay. It was from where the stream was. So, our um. Yeah, Sujun seems to be doing the same strategy as Arcus. Yep, there we one. go. So, yep, blowing up the same rubble too. Do, 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 do. So, um, Actually, what kind of strategy are we looking for, Dick? Well, I think we should look for the turn to Gustav uh, rush. So that means that 
by turn two, uh, both players should have a um, both both players should actually you know killed Gustav, um, you know by turn two, and by just you know running uh, by para by any means you know necessary just to kill the kill the Gustav, open up the KCCO zone so that you could start camping without the harassment of the uh, train cannon. Mm hmm. So, um, are we looking at something along the line of uh, a full cap this time, or maybe a silver map strategy from maybe either Arcus or uh, Sujin? Well, it's hard to say. Consider last week we see more uh, of a control uh, base, um, you know, strategy. But this it's time, I area. I'm more leaning to towards the um, a bit more combat focus, more camping focus, so that you know you get more points from killing rather than uh, capturing. Because now that you have more teams in hand, you you know you do want to kill more with with more teams, right? <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, we should like what Dick said. We should see a more combat combat oriented um, match today. But I might be wrong. Oh. Oh, uh, Suzu's already done with his turn. Jesus Christ, that was fast. Wow. Yeah, despite starting late, he actually right. finished first. Who meant late to be right? Maybe he's trying to rush to a later stage of um, of the, like, how to say it? He wanted, a later like, stage of the game, yeah. Yeah, yeah he wanted yeah. to go to end, end game as fast as possible, so, yeah. That okay. would come in handy for the supply line later on. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Oh, it's getting. I don't know oh, why. He... why I don't know why he rammed a uh, mesh machine gun shotgun into the gu uh, Gundam. To be honest, what yeah, do you, what, what a, do you think? That's a baffling plan. Maybe he want to repair by the time he reaches, like before he reaches the good stuff. Hmm. I, I have to ask perhaps. though, real quick. Um. Or is, is that an ad at the bottom of Shishin's stream, Digus? Uh, no, it's a, uh, it's about, uh, log, it's about you need to, um, log into Billy Billy in order to see a, a HD. Uh, can, can you click the X, please, Mr. Streamer? Okay. Click the X, click the X. That's Thank the X you. Sign. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Streamer. Okay, so, so since we have... All right, Arcus has ended his uh, first turn. Yeah. Okay, so we have the uh, what's this fight? This is just oh, this 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 fight. <laughs> this is the re center, or as uh, some people call it the Reggie center. I don't know what they're thinking, but uh, this, that's what they call yeah. it. Um, it's the so Reggie like, center, actually. It's just the barrack to me. I oh, that was quick! That. Jesus Christ, that was that quick. Was, Considering um, these he used K two A ninety four, but that fight was quick. It has some. Uh, I think it did have some hawk support, like quite a bit of hawk support. So yeah, I believe it had the, two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, Arcus is using an MG setup against that. So we have we have seen the first uh, divergence of strategies. Ready, uh, people using a different strategy this time rather than uh, having them mirror until. You know, turn three or something. Well, not turn three, turn two. Or sorry. You see an early divergence could actually it can be very interesting. Uh, I I am curious. Yeah, but uh, we can see that uh, machine guns against something with evasion usually does not fare too well. Yeah. Especially it's at night. That the, it's funny that the Reggie Center has a has okay, evasion. That's... While it has armor, it's it's usually the one or the other, but uh, for some reason it has both. Yeah, that is right. It's like a, how can a building evade? And like it's it's an it's an immobile object. Why the hell does it have evasion? Like, can you even can the doll even shoot on the far side of the barn or something? No, it's literally it's literally something like uh you know that uh the anime whereby the character is moving too fast for the person to see. <laughs> yeah, that's you know, literally and... literally the building right now. It's moving too fast for the machine guns to see. <laughs> Any lore for barracks uh... have evasion. Any lore for like having you know barracks having evasion? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So, okay, so we, on the student side, we have them uh, retreating the machine gun team after uh, engaging that the, the Gundam on the bottom right near the uh, elite zone. So here we should see him start to do the uh, start to set up for that turn to Gustav, unless you know he says, "Nah, man, I'm gonna do something else." You know? Yeah, man, I'm gonna do the Ionio strat because I saw him stream last week, and uh, his 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 uh his uh, tactics turns out to be better than uh, Hana's. <laughs> yeah, but we shall see. We shall see. Yep. Okay. I think he is going to and rush the. Uh, Arcus will now finish his turn one as well. What's happening, Arcus? Like, oh, Arcus just he started turn just two. Just wrapped up turn one. Yep. Yeah. A bit slow for uh, my liking, but uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. I there think his client is. is giving, I think his that. client is giving him trouble. His client is very slow. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, on uh, Suju's side, he has a super client or something. Why? Why is his <laughs> client so good? I've not had seen any like delay issue other than occasionally during a little bit. Okay, that uh, huge. that construction ferry should be a should be a, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, a dummy echelon, and he used it to swap two B down. Is that two B? Yeah, that's two B, right? Two B, yeah. 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 yeah interesting. That's a very interesting strat. I have not seen anybody anybody use that strat before. Hmm. I guess uh, Sitchin didn't slack off during his uh, weekly his week of PNC stream. It's, it's, it's not a weekly I mean, PNC stream. It's a week of PNC stream nonstop. Mm -hmm. I mean, PNC is an important thing. So. It is. You guys need to keep in mind, right? You guys need to keep in mind, right? That. Uh, CN already has uh, already has a lot of experience doing this. So, oh, that's a that's a damage Rico on the Sujun side. That's uh, that's, uh, that's, that's that is a clear, but uh, the yeah, you're, you're clear. You're there's clear. a significant no damage. So, yeah, he'll be he'll be fine, no problem. Meanwhile, on a the other side, meanwhile on the other side, it's Strider time. Oh yes, our favorite. Oh, oh yeah. Thea, what the Strider? Yeah, for the guys that have not met the Strider before, it's called the Patroller, officially, but we call it, we call it Strider because... How what the hell, I? man? It looks like the Strider. So, uh, yes, two modes. Yes, shield mode that is um, going on right now. And yes, the evasion mode. Evasion mode gives it a ton of evasion. Usually, we use short-hit rifles to um, nuke it down. So what like what, who's uh, the shirt hit rifle? It's Tac fifty. It's, yeah, it's Tac fifty. Interesting. It's Tac fifty. Uh, it take a bit um, uh, damage on the clear, but uh, nothing substantial on Arcus' uh, side. Otherwise, it's interesting Arcus. because uh, I've not seen Tac fifty being used yet. So yeah, it's the first time for her. To appear the other time we saw um uh, Ignori um M eighty two A one was it yes yeah M eighty two A one being used on uh I think it was either I think it was Hana that used M eighty two A one uh yes I believe so yeah that yeah. was an interesting strat this time uh, Arcus is bringing something new as well so uh over on Sujun is done with turn two two already. While Arcus is still struggling with the turn, with doing turn two. Mm -hmm. So, controversy time. Both of them does not, are not kind. Uh, Sujun is not doing the turn two Gustav's right. What do you think yeah. he's doing? Well, as I was saying, I, I think he saw. Look, I think he's trying to take a bit more control on the Paradeus. Uh... Like Paradeus, uh, they, he's trying to take more Paradeus control, um, rather than like you know, rather than um, you know, giving more control to uh, KCCO. Maybe he wants to do the classic turn four shot of uh, killing KCCO, like killing the Gustav. Uh, who knows? But um, given his position, I think he's going to do it like on turn three, early turn three. 
So, yeah, but uh, uh, I'm gonna have to cut you. Sorry, with turn three, right? There's more KCCO that are spawned, making controlling KCCO more difficult. Or if you do it on turn three compared to turn two. So if he wants to rush into KCCO on turn three, he's gonna meet more opposition that is supported by that good stuff. So he might meet some trouble with that. Look, he but... he is already positioned to kill the good stuff. So I don't. Oh hey, it's it... chill. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think. I don't know that where that came from. Problem. Sorry, say that again, Dave. Uh, look, he has he's already positioned to kill the uh, Gustav. He's just yet to activate it. So, mm. uh, interesting to see what he's uh, trying to achieve right now. Yeah, maybe he's just want to take more control before killing it. Um, you know, because. It it does take AP to kill the Gustav, and if you messed up like Hana did la yeah, last week, uh, you're going to have some sort of resets. Uh... Yeah, that is true. Maybe he is not taking the parachute debuff strategy. Maybe he's just gonna walk in there, but that takes a lot of action points, a lot of action points. Oh, it's right, Gustav time! Here you go. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, so as you he runs see, everybody uh, up. Check out, this uh, take the first the hit. First, run everybody up to there. Uh, uh, and okay, so all the guns are down. He'll be fine now. Yeah. Yep, he's he's fine. He'll take a few minutes. And uh, well. as you can see, the uh, blue hair girl, where, which we are colloquially known as uh, KFC, is a. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's uh, doing her work due to her extended, extended, and I say extended, I mean very extended magazine. Uh, right Why there. is she called KFC, Dig? Well, it's because um, she has a skin. Like she, Mika decided it was um, it's Mika uh, decided to have a collab with KFC, and um, for some reason they chose this, um the machine gun in question to have a skin because of it. So uh, that's how we got the name KFC, because of the collab. Mm. And uh, and for people asking, uh, you know, when is this collab coming to Ian? Uh, I'm sorry, it's uh, it's a CN-only collab. Uh, uh, meanwhile, we have Arcus taking on the Tesla Troopers. He might be in trouble if that Tesla Trooper oh. gets into phase two. Oh, never really mind. close. Right. Really close. Sound. Nothing happens, safe and sound. Yeah. Safe and sound. Safe. Maybe not sound, but safe. For now. Safe enough. Good enough. Safe yeah. enough. Okay, so since our uh, Sujun did that turn three, Gustav is free to go into Gustav's zone now. But for now, I think he's going to go um, kill some stuff because Paradias is uh, encroaching on his territory. I, I yeah. want to. <laughs> I want to. Pointed out, uh, I want to say Arcus might be going for more of a traditional opener than Fusion's yeah. kind of modified opener. I only think he's got two teams moving down on the Arcus side. Okay, so, so Arcus is taking on the turn two, just doing the current turn two ghost stops right now. Oh, there we go. Ian has learned. That's but it. yeah, I do, agree with, I do agree with Matt. Maybe Sujun is doing a, a modified turn, uh, modified uh, turn three good stuff strat. But maybe, but he's, but we shall see what uh, Sujun actually does. Yeah, I mean, Arcus may go for this, this strat because, you know, he is ranking in EN, like, for real, like, unlike, you know, Sujun. So he might be a bit more accustomed to, you know, say, a more traditional style of. Uh, Ranking rather than like a speed run, you know, blitzkrieg style of um, doing things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But um, I think the client is giving him more trouble than the, than you know. You see how laggy the client is. It's pretty come bad. Come on, you Jones. Come on, you Jones. Did you did your daughter? Come on, give give Arcus a break, man. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, if you're if you're wondering why we're not talking about a points difference, there is literally no point because uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, point um, because they are on different turns. If you wanna if you wanna say oh Arcus is slower, he's is behind because he's slower. 
that might be true, but uh, you know, he might get faster. He, 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 <clears throat> excuse me, he might have a strategy that uh, helps him later. We shall see. I'm gonna poke the bear here. Um, do either of you remember anybody getting a 735 last week? Nobody's on a 735. Uh, 735? What do you mean? Yeah, I, I think the scores last week when we had a 715. You didn't have a 765. You had a 716. That is correct. Yeah. So, yeah. so if, if my understanding is correct, it looks like on the Asian side, the best score, assuming he's been doing at least one hour training rankings in 735, Marcus, if he's been doing one hour trainings, it's 750. Yeah. If, if we're going to give any score credence, that's the one to look at. Let's try a time again. And, uh, Oh, okay, so... Oh, that's one cycle. Okay, so... Sujun brought Inori there instead of... Uh, compared to... Who was Argus Tech using again? Tech 50. We can we saw that uh, Inori pretty much one-shot that Strider. Uh, no Strider, problem. Argus is doing a Strider of his own. Yep. And uh, he's using the yep. Deagle Strat, which uh, also one-cycles it. No problem yeah. for Argus, no problem for Sujun. Um, yeah, but Deagle is banned on such a side, so no Deagle yes. for him. It looks like Arkans is focusing more kills early for sure. Uh, I yeah. believe he has declogged to P14, but did I see AGS without ammo or rations? AGS on where? Arcus yeah, he, he yeah. tried to he tried to bomb the artillery early on, and he ran out of ammo. It might be a misplay by him, but uh, oh, we'll there's see. a double top artillery. Oh dear. Uh oh. Uh oh. Arcus, why are you doing? Could be trouble. Maybe. Okay. Arcus, what are you doing? I don't think so. This should be fine. Okay, this might be trouble. This might be trouble. More critical yeah. damage. That's not a good idea, Arcus. That oh, is not boy. a good idea. That's gonna be cause that's gonna cost you a reset, like right there huh? at the very minimum. That's gonna cost you a reset. He's got a reset now. This yeah. has to be reset. reset. Right there, there's, there. No, there's yeah. two enemies and he's one strike from doom there. Okay, so what Arcus did is he rammed that enemy node with two enemy artillery supporting it. Two. Oh, no. So that's a major blunder on his side because he needs to kill the it artillery before penetrating the the parodia side. But rushing rushing hit first into it um, is not a good idea. It's not a good idea at all. I I don't think he knew. Frankly, I think he forgot. There's no way um, he could simply run into it. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Meanwhile, on Sujun's to... side, we have uh, Sujun doing uh, parodia's roaming, so he's killing everything that's in his way now. So... Say, uh, why use taunt fairy? You see taunt? You see that I mean, taunt fairy there? You see the strider firing the taunt fairy there? You see the you see the strider jumping around the kid and hitting the taunt fairy there? So um strider, right? The laser that penetrates it penetrates targets. So and it only fires in a single row. So if you have a taunt and the taunt has aggro on it, it only fires in the middle. Alright, round two for Arcus. Take away. I think wow. loading screens Client, win this client 101. Yeah. Client, please. Kinda, client, please. Kind of hard for Arcus when the client is working against him. Um, as well as two artillery uh, motor aiming at its uh, feet. Yeah, so ideally he wants uh, the Torn Fairy to take two volleys, but he's going to have NTW take a volley. This is. Uh... Oh, never mind. He has shield. Oh, and he definitely should take another volley. This is trouble for uh Oh, this is big trouble. This is big. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, is it oh. Late? oh, my God. Nope. He's got somebody on his back line. Maybe not a reset. That's another reset for him. That's very costly on Akris' side. Mm -hmm. He can't do too much safe loading, especially he is behind uh, Sijun in terms of turns. And keep in yeah. mind, Sijun started er, uh, later than Arkin. So uh, when when he was joking last week about I'd give Ian an extra ten minutes, I I think he was giving us an extra few minutes. Yeah, despite. I think Wait, why did he parachute there? 
Oh, he's capping. He's capping. I think he's capping. Hmm. That's yeah. interesting. Very interesting. Because um, my theory no. is that it's he is capping the Paradise helipad because it's tr like he's trying to uh set up like some control within it. So because like when you uh if you don't know uh trying to roam the bottom of uh the paradise zone is actually quite challenging due to the um distance to it from the uh from the nearest helipad so uh i guess that's his strat you know trying to t uh you know cap it so they could you know he could repair it anytime that's a good strat by the way uh having a heliport to control there because of the poison and everything oh arcus finally and to has... interrupt yep Ar arcus beat his uh lovely two artillery fight <laughs> Right. Uh, now, uh, interesting thing to note is that uh, Sijin has a uh, reinforcement. Is this reinforcement ferry? That no, is. Uh, it's fortress. Or, yeah. For, that's, well, construction. Yeah, fortress that's construction. That's construction. Uh, standing on top of his, uh, I assume it's a bossing team. So I think he's going to gamble that the uh, boss is going to spawn their next turn. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh, Okay, so Arcus is finally clearing out the two turrets to give him a lot of trouble. I believe he forgot or something. We need to ask him uh, in the post-stream post, uh, analysis. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's going to end his turn with two extra AP as well. From what Again. I saw, I think he didn't forget. He's just He just ran out of ammo and he can't go resupply because that would cost him a few more AP. That is Correct. not usually a good fight to take. If you need to use extra AP, so be it. You know, it, this is a speed run. You know, this is a time to run. You can't afford two or three resets. Unlike yeah. what, uh, what you can do in a traditional ranking run, you can take fifteen hours, twenty-five hours if you want to. So I've seen somebody that took seventy something hours to finish a ranking run. Look, I, uh, so remember when I say when I say we, we I've watched some um in, like Ian uh ranking, uh this week. So. Uh, one story, one interesting story is that I went to, I woke up, uh, I saw people, I saw a guy tries to rank, uh, starting ranking. I ate lunch, went for a nap, woke up. He's still in turn four, and then I went to, uh, and then I left it idle for like a few hours because like he's taking forever. And then when I came back, uh, like during nighttime after dinner, he's still doing the turn nine. <laughs> also, I want to mention that Sujun was using a car plus uh EM2 comp. Interesting. Very interesting comp. That was an interesting comp. I can mention the Dorothy on that comp too. Yeah, there was Dorothy on it, but Dorothy doesn't matter. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Brecky would uh, <laughs> call. And, and as, as Chad suggests, uh, it's a. Uh... They, uh, I think they're having a similar experience with uh, the guy who's ranking where I was watching him. Anyway, um, with unfortunately with uh, the the screw ups that Arcus did and him being almost two whole turns behind Sujun, it's not looking good for Ian. It's not looking good. We might it's see might uh... be a three o sleeps there. Yeah, well, what can you do? In the meanwhile, I'll say I want to ask. Um, we see the fusion actually taking nodes in the Paradise now. What's the likelihood of a silver medal attempt here? Um, Besides the he meme level, it. if it's fast enough, he might do it on the last turn. Yeah. But considering how uh, considering how Sijun's speed is right now. He might be able to make it to turn nine. Also, his gamble on that construction ferry failed. Yep. Oh no. No, uh, it's not. No, no. It's just it's, it's a gamble. So. Well. That. It's he could else. retreat he the fort He could retreat the fortress ferry and attempts to, um, you know, regamble it. But uh, you know, at this point, you need to think: Is it worth it to you know lose some points and some AP just to get uh, you know, get the camp? Good stuff and... time. It's finally, finally, All it's right. good stuff time uh, for Arcus. Uh, from what I see, it looks like similar comps uh, between uh, Arcus and Sijun, except Arcus, uh, except 
Actually, no, not really, because uh, Arcus is using Lewis and Cord. You know, while Sijin is using uh, Bar and uh, yeah, KFC. Sorry to oh. interrupt you, but Arcus is having trouble with the fucking Goose because he is... did not target down the miss the, the, the guns, the kick the guns. Oh my god. Okay, oh this is gonna take a while. Yeah, this could be problematic. There you go, the gun the guns are down, but uh, only two links left. Uh Cord isn't the best gun in my opinion for a Gustav fight because uh Cord is only good for its uh, penetration, but you know, court like penetration appears to enemies more like. But the thing is that Gustav doesn't have doesn't require pierce because it's only like a single enemy in in a row in a column, Ooh, so to speak. That might be a reset, uh, boys. That might yeah. be a reset. This doesn't... might be the health bar. I think is above, correct? Yeah, the health bar is above. Uh, you can see it's not even halfway through. And... Oh, that's a reset there. Yeah. Unfortunate. Another oh another reason I think is Arcus may think that uh, court is a good idea is because there's a twenty uh, percent bonus on uh, court. Uh, so he might want to use that. But uh, yeah, yeah, oh. both court and KFC do have that twenty percent attack buff, uh, damage buff from being advantage yes. in the map. But uh, is it you know worth it though? To use that's that? worth it. It's worth it. instead of KFC. Uh, it's I worth mean, it because uh, R. Sorry. Sorry, it's because uh, if you activate uh, by default in force manual mode, right? Uh, court has the AOE um yeah. thing, AOE buff, AOE stand uh, uh stuns. I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, basically, she does uh penetration damage, uh, penetrating damage. So anything along. The line gets penetrated. You know, you know what yep. you know what it is. I say enough. I say penetrated enough for this stream. Okay, so um, and it's a second mode, right? It's a it's a it's an attack buff. So once you don't need the AOE anymore, you switch to a, her attack buff. It's exactly. pretty much a permanent attack buff, you know. Yep, and this is why Cord is uh one of the cornerstones of future uh, gunboats uh for later ranking, not for like general use, but uh don't say gunboats. Don't give Ian ideas. <laughs> and Arcus oh, is gonna be in round oh, two. Oh, I specifically now. stated that it's a it's for ranking only. You don't. Okay. You, you should never use uh. You should never never use a gun bolts in um. Uh, during like normal clear, because. Uh, All right, this round think... two for uh, Arcus. It's round two. Mm -hmm. He needs to focus on both gun turrets first, but uh, apparently I think he's gonna I have trouble. I think that's again. what he's doing now. Uh, he's gonna okay. have to think, that. Yeah, Top one's done. There, Bottom I one's got a little bit of health edge. left. Yeah, that is trouble. That is trouble. I think he's gonna. Bottom one's gonna... gone. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, that is, we have the same situation off. as last time again. This is not ideal. I, I want to <sighs> say built his team more for tile buff than anything It's backfiring, but I'm not the expert to say that. No, I think um, I think you're not 100% wrong. He's using that team for the tall buffs, for the um, handgun buffs on the machine guns and, and all, you know? Handgun buffs would work significantly better uh, in hindsight, because this is, uh, as you can see, it's... Uh... In mind, these guys are probably debuffed. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fair too. Yeah. So, okay. okay. We okay, so basically, basically, Arcus needs to have God RNG, you know, and not have the missiles. Nope, I think him. he's got it. Yeah, he's got he, it. Now we're good. Yeah, okay. he got it. He got it. Yeah, okay. Can we go back to. Uh, yep. Here we go. Let's see how far he's gotten. Okay, so Sijun is uh, going to start to clear out Perdius again because it's interesting, you know, for him to clear out the Gustav and not touch KCCO at all. Maybe he's going to touch it in a later turn. What do you think, Dick? Well, I think, I think, yeah, he's, I actually don't, I actually don't know. Because the thing is, like, you know, you're doing a uh, speed run, right? You do, you do realize that Paradeus takes a bit more points. It, 
you know, you gain more points of killing Paradeus than uh, KCC in the early game. Oh my god, like, that kiting. Oh, fuck. Which uh, explains why, you know, uh, our, why uh, Ionio has, like, a, such a like early lead uh, against, like, Hoshi during, like, the early stages. So, you know, I think he's trying to, you know, do the more... He's trying to get as much points as possible, so to speak, because Paradeus gets more points in early game. In, you know, the first... Let's say the first four turns, so to speak. Sorry that I creamed on his kiting. His kiting is so good. Oh my god. Look, that's an uh, experience, okay? I don't think Arcus could even do that if Arcus had the ability to, because the client is rough. I mean, you can yeah, see that the lag spikes really, he gets yeah, with really too many things bad. move. I agree, it's really, really bad. Okay, so same fight. Let's see what Arcus can do with his... Troublesome client, I think he has to eat them. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage there. Yeah, he had He'll to get eat it. The, but he had to eat his shuriken guns. On, he had to eat all of the guns. That's pretty. That's mm. pretty painful. Your PX4, your uh, five seven, and the clear. It's uh, taking quite a bit of damage as well as. More importantly, the R, her, his R93 is, uh, yeah, he lost two links on R93. That means the DPS is gonna significantly drop unless he repairs. He can just repair, though. Yeah, just. He can just repair, though. No problem. Repairs are easy. Okay, so uh, just to explain what the Serene Gun is, um, it is a nickname that some of us use. Where the Gladiator, the previous fight where Arcus was, Arcus was fighting, the Serene Gun is a skill that the Gladiator have um, after... What was the initial cooldown again? Was it six seconds? I believe it's six or eight. Yeah, around there. So the Serene Gun basically smashes the ground, damages the dolls in its range, and slows down your dolls. And these are the uh, Tesla Troopers, aka I have no idea what's the English name. So Tesla Troopers, right? Mm -hmm. um, they're heavily armored, use handgun rifle, slap down twin autons, have them try to kill a ton, uh, try to have them try to kill your twin auton fairy. By the time um, they try to get through, they'll be dead. So um, just to explain what the Tesla troopers are. They are. They have two modes. They have the uh, shielded mode and they have the um, non-shielded mode. So uh, cycle one is they walk into you. They can you can do hundred percent damage to them. Meanwhile, they put their shields up. You they reduce a set amount of damage. A set a set percentage amount of damage. Then um, after the shields are down, they'll um, shock your dolls if they are tasers and whatnot you can see there sometimes. Um, after doing the shocking, they'll go back to shield mode. If they get past the second shield mode, they'll uh, fire missiles uh, similar to the previous Gundams that we've seen so far. So that's the TLDR for Tesla Troopers and Gladiators. And uh, say uh, they are called Minotaurs in, in the end. Uh, well, uh, yeah, well, Tesla Minotaurs. Troopers are more... Uh, Tesla Trooper no. sounds more interesting, you know? No, it doesn't. I like to, I like to call him the, the big, mean green, but, uh, you know. <laughs> I mean, I want to draw some attention. Uh, the, the it green. appears that HTO actually leaked above P1. Oh, really? On, 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 I, I believe so. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I think I saw in the blinks that I had in the stream. Oh, my God, I can't do it. I can't so good. Uh, Okay, so what Sujin did there, right? Is he tight. avoided the uh you can you can avoid a sharing gun before it hits you if you move to the um row below on time. Mm -hmm. That's uh, so good. Oh my god. Sorry, so sorry, good. uh sorry. To reiterate what uh, by sharing gun you mean the great the big blue ball that the it, Yeah, it's correct. Uh, the big the big blue ball that a gladiator uses, exactly. the sharing gun thing. Thank you, sir. Rasengan, Sharingan, whatever it's called. I don't I don't care. Blue, blue ball. ball. Yes. The big blue ball. Kamehameha. Whatever. <laughs> you know, blue ball is a cool name. Is a... 
I'm, I'm curious what chat would rather call it, frankly. Oh, you know, it can be chaos control as well. I know. I, I'm just, I'm just going to butcher every single um, move name, all right? It's going to be Look, Racine hey. Gun, Sharing Gun. Next, it's going to be chaos control. But it's not really chaos control, you know? I'm going to butcher everything right now. Yeah, well, what is it, Nick? Look, you already ruined every single ranking by, you know, releasing guides, so may as well, right? <laughs> I'm only catering for the normal board boys, though. They, I'm just telling them, get do this. Get 500k points. Check out your beach fire, you know? Uh, so That's all I do. Oh. I don't touch I don't touch the uh, high high rankers anymore. I'm, yeah, I'm going to crank you guys back in. So Shishin is blowing up rocks with about 20 minutes left. He only has about 17 kills? I don't think he has enough time to get his 30 and his boss battles done in that time frame. So he might be blowing things up to increase for a short term. He might not get the kill count. You're talking about a 154k, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, yes. so 154 requires Wait. a specific number of kills. Wait, so... it's one spawn. There's one boss Wait. spawn. That yep. should be the uh, 90 something. One, 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 yeah. one spawn is at 15. Yes. This should be the weak one. Yeah, that's the weak one, right? Yep, correct. Uh, the first yes, one is bonded for team. Yeah, that's a weak one. So, uh, oh, that's not even the weak one. He's hey. No, it, it spawned like it spawned, but it didn't ram into one of them. Hey, you made me think it's this the boss. Why do you it think? Spawned, do I, I said it spawned. It didn't. I didn't say ram into one Wait. of the dogs. To, to be frank with you, I think at this point with the time constraints, 20 minutes left, what is a point deficit for sure? The wasted four to five minutes and resets after getting it probably higher than that now. Um, Argus's best move would be, I think, just to go to silver the map and spam and turn to turn nine. It's yeah. the only yeah. way to not lose by more than 100k at this point. He, we're looking at what could be murder if things don't pick up in his favor. I do agree. He needs to start silvering the map. If he does not silver the map, he'll be in a too. He'll have too much of a point deficit, as as well as a turn deficit. He's still doing the starting uh -huh. turn front turn five soon. Yeah, where he his turn deficit is growing by the minute, not to include the reset. And the resets just make that significantly worse. Well then, um, if CN goes three zero sweep. What do you think, uh, Yudachi and uh, who's the last guy again? <laughs> no, 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 uh, CN side, CN side. Oh. I can't remember um. who's the last one. I think both of them are going to meme. I'm most oh. like, I'm thinking it's, both of them are going to meme. It's, isn't the other Hoshi? Or is the... There are, yeah, next, there are two, there are two Hoshis in a sense, but I think they're going to meme. Yeah, look, there is one, you know, like free O there are one, so. You know, they might as well, right? Yeah. So, uh, the last, uh, last player is Saigano Hoshikuzu. Yeah. Uh, let's call him. Call, we're gonna call him. Let's just call him see, uh, T Strand. You know. <laughs> hey, I don't know any better. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we should kind. But here's the thing, right? We have Sirius going last, and Sirius is the god of free to play. So I don't know. I don't know. The, I don't know whether they'll treat uh, Sirius seriously or not. Hey, I think uh, if anybody has the best chance at winning without really knowing the CM players, then it's Brecky. Uh, yeah, I've heard that he may have the easiest of the fights. So the, I, may, that may not be the case, you know. May not. Yudachi is, is Yudachi is a pretty uh, high ranked player as well. All, all five of them are pretty heavy hitters, to be oh, very frank. It's true. All right, so Sujun, take the boss. It's boss fight. Yep. It's boss time. And this is the 96 KCE boss. Okay, uh, how many points does that give? It's 10% of that CE, so if it's 90k, it'll be 9k. Nice. Okay, so to uh, briefly explain of how the boss mechanic works, it has the skill, it activate, you activate the skill, you have something hitting the back line, and that's why your P45 is back there to uh, soak the damage. This is one of the one of the times Holy Cross is viable. And yep. don't come and tell me, oh, yeah, but Holy Cross is good in this thing. Why can't it be used in everything? You know, uh, classic EM mistake. 
thinking like yeah. the, there there's a beyond NO team. I, I want to yeah. mention here the M2 BGM carry here. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. That makes that doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it, it kind of makes a lot of sense. You, what the heck am I saying? It does clear. It does clear a lot of um. How should I say it? Um, Worth you guys. The back line, yeah, the back line. It, it, I I would I would counter that with it's the fourth. Okay, show. so uh, Hoshi gets away with murder, no problem. Um, <laughs> And uh, Arcus is now dealing with uh, big green doggles. Uh... And uh, Seiya, can you briefly explain what the uh, big dogs do in the KCCO? They basically fuck you up. Yep. Uh, yes, yep. indeed. Uh, uh, okay. The other than that, uh, okay, so to explain the mechanics, let's just go through it. Um, doggos, right? Or whatever the English name is, we just call them green doggos or the, or, or the uh, dogs that fuck you up. Um, basically, it's uh, they have a shield mode whenever it goes to melee range. So once they run to melee range, they put up a shield, they reduce, uh, they reduce all incoming damage to one. Then um, once the shield is down, they will take additional damage uh, initially, then they will take normal damage after. So what you want to do there is to slap in rate of fire uh, AR this way, right? You take down the shields as fast as possible. There are uh, compositions whereby people run K2, people run uh, ER94. So to burst down the doggos before they go into shield mode, because there's a, there's a slight delay, maybe a one second, two second delay before the shield comes up. Yep. You Yes, and uh, after the shield is up, you still want to burst it down as quick as possible because um, because back lines can be a big problem, especially when you're facing archers. They could mow your front line down with um, with flaming arrows, which uh, for some odd reason deals more damage than a bloody than bloody guns. I don't know what the hell is what. Why is that a thing? But it is what it is. And, uh, GFL, man, it doesn't need to make sense. <laughs> As uh, demonstrates in uh, Arcus' uh, point of view, you can see that Contender has already lost two, three links uh, dealing Yeah, with Contender is getting fucked. Oh, that, the that, that, uh, EMP is uh, getting fucked too. Yeah, that's basically what uh, an archer, a doggo fight looks like in a nutshell. Yep. Yep. Everything yeah, it, gets fucked. It hurts. Um, I it's, want it's... to draw some attention. So, Shihan is now. Surround capping uh, most of that, most of that side, it appears. Um, Arcus is possibly looking to make an AGS change for turrets in the southeast corner. Um, and Chijin, a couple minutes ago, got rid of his last turret. Um, so Chijin should have no more artillery in his way, making things significantly easier. Um, yes. And Arcus, unfortunately, the bad luck streak continues with his KCC as bombs. Without a doubt, <laughs> very still on twelve kills. He's still mm. on twelve kills. Please note that. Um, he he, he yes. is closer when you count the kill count compared to the turns. His on turn three still. With sorry to say. Yeah, sorry to say. This is uh, this is a uh, unwinnable situation, Parkers. I'm gonna call it right now. This is un. This it's not right now. I, I called it ten, fifteen minutes ago. This is unwinnable now. Mm -hmm. Sorry uh, to say, Ian, we got three zero. Uh, five still ruined. Five. Oh god. <laughs> uh, so hopefully we won't we won't get zero five. Hopefully we can get one or two points off CN. Brecky, please. Brecky, please. Brecky, please. <laughs> Brecky, please. Uh, give, give, let me give an idea to the you know, Chinese side. Go ban Dorothy. Ooh. Yeah, uh, CN, if you're listening, like, go ban Dorothy. Uh, that, um, please do. That would mess, I want to see mess this. Them up. Uh, let's, use, let's use Chinese to tell them. Hey, 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 go fang, go fang, uh, um, can you actually jang? Um, ban their Dorothy. Then, then, how do you make a, uh, small? Okay, 
Thea, Thea, I'm gonna have to ask. Somebody in chat is like, Thea, what the fuck is that? Chinese, Thayanese, just because so, um... she's in Vietnamese. Oh, All right, my Chinese is very bad. Yeah. I've, I've should, already should, mentioned you before, let my me, Chinese is very bad. You should have bad. let me set that. You should have let me set that, say, uh... Sorry. So, uh... Wait, say, yeah, say that on stream, say that. Yeah, uh, Bloody hell, oh, oh, I think your Chinese is not even flag. better than mine. It's not even, you're nowhere better than mine. Both of us use English as our main language. You can't blame uh, well, us, okay? Well, no, hey guys. Chinese is okay, guys. half of my language. Okay, no, guys. Let's, let, let, let's get back out of here. Let's, let's focus down. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't need a lesson in Cantonese. Thank you. Yeah, Matt can't speak... Uh... Sorry, so to translate for our non-Chinese speaking folks, we basically told the uh, CN players to go ban Jorty. What, 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 what is Arcus doing? Uh, Strider fights. Uh, ooh. Uh, he got lasered by the Strider in the middle row. I have no idea what he's doing. He, he, <laughs> he's already... Um, yeah, I think he, he looks mentally given up. Um, Judging the fact that he made this uh, blunder of what, well, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is... Okay, so on Susan's side, he's gonna start capping KCCO. I think we might see him reach turn eight at least at, at this at this rate. The speed running it, you can see him. He's speed running it. Yeah, look at this man. He's uh focusing. Also, he he caught a leak. That's a really good catch. So say, what's what's that leak? So say, what's that leak? Is, is oh, that something so... I can eat? Uh, yes, you can yesterday. eat a leak. My you mom cooked it too. My mom cooked leek yesterday, and it tastes very nice. Uh... I don't like leeks. Both in both in game, both in GFL and in and in real life, I don't like leeks. I'm not a big fan of it. But leeks, right? Is basically uh, enemies that move somewhere that you don't want them to be, more or less. Mm -hmm. So you see that doggo that, uh, you see that doggo over there? It's not supposed to be there. So, ah. so just gonna kill it. What a, fi what a fine from uh, Sejun. Yeah. What a scuffed explanation. You you tell me then. You explain this then. I'm, I'm the one casting, not you. <laughs> Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh. Anyway, so uh, Sijin is now dealing with uh big dogs, and as you can see, Twin Fairy is uh doing a lot of uh heavy lifting on the front line. Who again? Who was taking the heavy lifting? Uh, the Twin Fairy. Oh yes, that Twin Fairy. Yes. Uh. All right. So this should look like. Uh... Looks like a parachute on Sujin's side to fully cap out KCCO this turn. Looks wow. like he's trying to he's trying to, he's trying to he's trying to silver the map. Uh, yeah, Sujin is silvering the map. Sujin is going to silver the map. I think at this point, I think this is my bigger idea. I think there's yeah. like, I'll give him ten more minutes. He's going to be done probably. I think he thought he was going to be done right about now. I think if he didn't have the two rich he had, he probably would be done. Oh, oh, I think oh. has Sujun already fully captured here, Proteus? Uh, yeah, he is yeah, just looks, now. Looks he's, like it. he's got this in turn 7. Oh god, that's checkpoint, man. Sujun got it. This is a this is going to be a map solo by turn 8. That is better question. And he ends turn 6, 18, 18 left. Yeah, that's it. That's this it. Is... Sujun, Sujun finished the map in one hour. This is a bloody... This, this is a bloody eighty percent speed run from him. This really is, quick. This despite is the meme, despite the meme ban, he's still, despite all the memes uh, that he, he has inflicted towards uh, Arcus, uh, he's still gonna try. Like he's still, you know, 
gonna. Wait, why is the um, ARS engine taking on Hydra? Oh, never mind. They died. It's it's fine. It's fine. It's yeah. This is shooting the corpse. This is taking the trophy and dunking yeah. him in, in the arena. Yeah, it's uh yeah. sending a message, right? It's rough. Uh, yeah, sending a message. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like you know, sixteen zero in like CS:GO. It's not like about winning. It's about sending the message that you're that better, that much better than you know your, th you know the enemy team. <laughs> okay, so I think Arcus is trying to um rush out a silver medal strategy. You know, he's literally. Excuse me. He's literally um rushing, trying to rush it. While while uh, Arcus is uh, dragging behind. Yeah, yeah, well, sorry, Arcus is trying to silver it while Sujut is chilling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, sp it's gonna finish with my five minutes left, I'm gonna call it now. Yeah, it with Clash memes aside, yeah, this is, um, would you say it's a bigger beatdown than, like, Hana versus, um... This Wim? is the biggest beatdown today, I mean, the fact that he can, has enough time to go over the map is the... Pawn. Well, to be honest... Well, to be thoughts. fair, I mean, he, he has is the more provocation to work with. That is true. He, he is the provocation fairy at this point. Yeah. Oh, isn't he I... supposed to retreat that? Uh... Hawk track. Hawk track. Yeah, but he's supposed to retreat that because it's a dummy. not a dummy. It's that, not a dummy. Matter. Is that it's a dummy? Just, it's just BMing at this point. Just give it to him. Whatever, yeah. man. Just give it to him. No, no, no. That, that's a combat team, no? That's a combat team. That's... I don't know, whatever, man. Let's give it to him. He's, he's, he's just BMing. Yeah. I I think he's having his day right now. Um... Okay, so he should be able to cap everything out this turn and blow up the rest of the rocks. Or, you know, he can just wait for one more wave of zombies. It's up to him. He could even let his hawks die. It's that and him. And uh, for those who don't know that uh, he is playing on a, uh, t is it, how to say it, like, uh, Mika account. Mika yeah, Mika account. account, so like, Mika's gonna, it's, you Mika know, it doesn't account. really matter. It, 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 it's, it, it's our, oh, oh hey, Smasher. One's person oh, account, hey, Smasher. Uh, oh, he got the Smasher. Oh, hey, Smasher. Here we go. Wait, yep. why did Arcus reset? Why did Arcus reset? I don't. I didn't see. I, I, I didn't I, see it. It's been resetting for yeah. a few minutes or so. Oh God. Yeah. He got into a fight. It, it's been resetting, bro. Reset hell, man. It's a. It's a big reset hell. Look at that team, though. EM2 Car 98. That is a very interesting team. I've not seen a team like this before in a long time. I mean, it down. CN, CN players are a bit more um, creative in terms of team comps. You see a lot more uh, hybrid teams than you know they do in like Korea and uh, EN. Because um, EN kind of follows a bit of both, but it's more leaning towards like Co the Korean meta where you know you, you gotta do AR SMG or uh, rifle handguns. You seldom see you know hybrid teams like these. While China, well, in China, it's a bit more creative. They they do want to mix things, you know, a bit. Are you entirely saying that the rest of the servers are too tryhard? No. Uh, Degas, please. I I, 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 I won't. 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 I since um, this match is pretty much over, we can talk about something else. Um, this Isoma thing that they're doing, I think we've seen 1.35 million on day three, right? On, yeah, on, the, Jap on the JP side? Three, yeah. What? It's, it's insane. 1.35 million is our, is our record, by the way, in Ian. Oh my god. No Arcus way, man. Arcus's is client is killing bad. itself. Yeah. It, 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 Arcus, if my timer is accurate, which it probably isn't, I probably have forgotten to start it. He has wasted we... nine minutes in loading screens. Oh, God. oh my God. 
So okay, uh, Sijin, um, one me, one me, land. This is unfair. So Sijin saying he's gonna lend ten minutes to Arcus is actually uh to keep it uh, to keep it fair, huh? <laughs> I one think v, one I, v in land. it's almost like he knew that my was going to be an issue. Yeah. Oh, I mean, Arcus. Oh, dear. I mean, oh no, Arcus. Just withdraw that. Just don't reset. reset it. Don't reset it. Just withdraw it. Come on, Arcus. He's thinking. He's, he's going to take your advice. Oh, he, he, withdrew. he withdrew. He withdrew. He circled over and was like, do I do this? Then again. You heard the voice and say it. Look, look, you're you're in the last minute. You don't. You, you really can't. You know, say, "Oh, I, I'm gonna hesitate before." You know, think of each step. You really have to think fast. And like the split sec, it's the split second decision that mat matters right now. So he only has like he only has like slightly more than a, a minute left to work with. Um, so yeah. Yes, you got it. So you just need to cap it, and you and you see about the map. I guess uh, I'm it's gonna trash point. time right now. Hey, hey, say, uh, say it, Jagus. Yes. So look at the band doll section and look where the uh, graphics sit aligned. Yep. Are they aligned? Alignment? Uh, I... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Our BTS team botched the graphics. Look, 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 look. Nobody, look, nobody's gonna notice if you if you don't mention it, okay? Why so do I not see it? Time, I, That's the thing, I, don't I, see saw, it. I I saw it and it's an eyesore, but uh, I'm not gonna say where it is because once you see, you can't see it. It's oh god. Um. Anyway, I'm blind. The okay. Entire time I'm blind. Time. okay, so Sujin is gonna end his turn, and he's with done. With with he's he's done with twenty seconds, with one minute to spare on his side. He has oh, built yeah. for the map. He he managed. To, he actually managed to get to turn nine. And he Jesus Christ, Sujin, oh my god. That should be at least uh, 800k on his side. At least 800. Never mind, it's 720. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. 720. 720. 720. 720. 720. Clap. Yep. Uh... Clap. Da Mm -hmm. And Arcus's time and, has expired. Uh, and for the Ian audience, if you see uh, the the M4 Chibi, uh, where she's holding a sign in the CN side, um, the sign actually reads Pian Jia Bulio, meaning uh, not a single thing left. And as uh, the name suggests, Sijun kept every single note with nothing <laughs> left behind. Or you Dear know, God. it can mean it can mean another way. That's another definition to it. Yeah, but like, I, I are you are you seriously going to say that, Saya? Are, uh, are, are, are we? Are we? I are mean, we gonna... Ian just got trash three zero. I think we can say it, right? Yeah. Sure. Look, the other meaning is that CN is gonna well beat Ian with no, you know. Beat down. It's a beat down. Yep. Yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna five zero he... Ian. In other words. Uh, yeah, so... I've got no way yeah. of getting a hold of him. All right, it's time for Arcus to end his turn. Yeah. Uh, you. Oh God. Uh. Yeah. Oh, he's, let's, he's let's, done. Let's oh wait. Let's, yep. Yep. Let's... Yep. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes, please. End your turn. Right. Uh. Okay. Yeah. It's meanwhile. It's hard to have... having coins dropped on him. Okay, uh, it's hard to see down like that, but like, it should be 400 on. plus on not even 400 even on the Arcus's side, unfortunately. I think, I think you kind of get four, but it might be a low four. I mean, there's plenty of and look how the donations on the institution side. Look at all of the money. What they got that money? I money, money, uh, money. that is a win. This event was a win win for him, yeah. While we're doing this for free. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's okay, man. It's okay. It's not that bad, all right? Do you get experience from doing casting and all? It's pretty fun, to be honest, doing this casting business, as long as yeah. it's not a back-to-back -back game. 
Yeah, last last week is a last week is such a. It was a catastrophe. Okay, look at that pickle. It's, it's not it's not Pain that pickle. bad of a catastrophe. It's just everyone is just uh, it's just way too rushed. Did you get like half a million points added to this for the end of an anime turn? Pain uh, pickle. Totally impossible. Did it pickle? Where no pickle allowed? Get the pickle out of here. <laughs> you get it get it get this thing out of my way burp. get it out of my way no peko allowed echo has gone <laughs> copyright strike rip right so um... here we go dmca time uh that is not gonna work out arcus you should retreat that yeah yeah well, that's one point, another 1.5k loss, but at this point, it really doesn't matter, because, yeah. <laughs> Look, and I don't I know hear... if, like, I don't know if, Su if Sujin, like, uh, if, like, this is actually in the ranks of, like, the EN, what, what percent, what percentile would this land on? 719? Yeah, 719k. It should be top 100 at this time. It should land at about top, top 10% at the end. I have not much ex I have not much uh, confidence on Ian's uh, ranking capability. So yeah, yeah. Ian is more of a casual server, so... More casual than Billy at this point. You know how yeah. casual Billy is. Oh, mm, well... Mm, and That's maybe, a date team, uh... sir. That's a date team. Yeah. Yeah. Another, another team retreating. That's uh in total three Ks lost. Uh... Pain. Pain. All I pain. see is pain. The end is pain. He's already dead. He's already dead. The cloud uh... man. His client is not his work. Yeah. Him. Yeah. Next time, let's give the both players an equal client, shall we? Oh wait. Well, I don't. I, I would say it's not the client. <laughs> I think the one thing that changed week over week was the tool that we used to get our feed from the EM player. I think that is causing a problem. Last time it was easier. This time it's a it's a live feed from a live feed from a live feed. That's causing the issue. Is that a parody buff team? That's a parody buff team. Yeah, and uh, keep in mind that Arcus is uh, streaming this uh, event himself, so the the streaming software that he uses may take some C take a bit more CPU usage. I'm gonna say uh, bit it, as an understatement. I mean, OBS takes a lot. OBS yeah. runs a border for me fifty percent. Sorry, Dave. Sorry, Ding, not all of us have a $4,000 computer like some of us have. Oh. Wait, bro. Bro, are you live now? Or are you on, on, on? You're not alive? Wait, are you actually on? Unmute yourself from the stream or what? No, he he's a ghost, and we're just talking to a ghost. What's happening? Why are we talking to a ghost? Oh, you ghost talking to a ghost? Are you? talking to a ghost. Anyway, uh, we were saying that um, oh even God, four thousand dollar PC yeah. may not work as well because you know some of us have a monster PC, but you know how OPS is. Sometimes streaming takes a, takes a toll on a PC. So um, for example, right, uh, when I'm when I'm streaming, I'm using OBS myself as well. I'm also using now. I'm also using the VTuber stuff and all. You know, so um. It strains my PC as well, and my PC is not cheap. And my PC uh, setup is not that it's not uh, too shabby. I'm shabby gonna either. I'm gonna move it online. Uh, Xi Jun was just swimming and coins above his head. Uh, I like uh, I, li I like his concept though. That coin bonking, you say that shit. Mm -hmm. There Can't you go. Not gonna lie. Look at all those coins. Oh my god. I mean, you missed it. It was half the stream was coins. Right. Like <laughs> Okay, hey, so say it. Hey, right, you should do uh, something like that so we can bonk you. I think one. Okay, I think I have a. Cons 
I, I think I have a conspiracy. You see, Sijin is using a 6P and Dorothy. So he has both um, Yu Jong and Brecky's blessing. Okay, it's 431 on the Arctic Society. Okay. He's going to rage quit. Or, is he going to come here for a post-match post, inter post -match interview or not? An, an exit interview. If he's not going to do the uh, post-match interview, then we just move on to the post-analysis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can move into the discussion. Okay, so right. what went wrong? Actually, no. Let's start with what went right for um, you know, for Sejun. What went right? He has an entirely new strategy. That's an entirely new strategy, by the way. Yeah, he sped around the whole bloody uh. He's he like literally just sped around, sped around the whole uh, bloody ranking. Like, no pretty much, yeah, pretty much. I, I don't even have words for it. I'm gonna do what my character on screen is doing and just go, hmm. Yeah, I mean, you, you pretty what, much what, didn't what have... What more can I add? What more can I add to that? There's... He came also, to play, like... murdered Yen, and memed on us, too, while doing it. Yeah, he literally just got away with murder. Um... But for Arcus, I think it's a, a series of unfortunate events. You know, it's um, you know, first of all, first of all, he has to you know negotiate with that bloody client, and I don't think his PC can uh, support it, so it just kind of chokes, and uh, chokes behind. So unfortunate for him. Uh, and you know, also he might be a bit, you know, under pressure because you know he he is not a streamer. He's not usually a streamer, so you know, the pressure might got to him a bit. So, and what do you think, Sia? Yeah, um, pretty much right. Um, from Alcris's side, it pretty much went downhill from the time he started turn two. He saw how the client was lagging, like what Matt said. There was a total of nine to ten minutes just on loading screens that screwed him. That will screw up his uh, momentum and everything. The second thing is the mess up with the Gustav turn two. The parachute uh, Gustav turn two. He had to reset twice or thrice on it. It was yeah, a few times. That's very bad because considering the reload time, um, reload time on his uh client then for doing the fight again and again and again that's painful the third one would be the um the you know that missile turret fight with missile turret supported fight the two missile turret supported fight down at uh near paradise that was a turning point as well messing up there okay, and doing, then we have our kids joining us doing about three resets there, that is pretty bad that was pretty bad not gonna lie sorry Akers, but that was pretty bad I know the client is and I know the client oh, and everything it, is, it. is, is okay for you. And anyway, we have our here. So, what happened? Hmm. I'm going to say that again. We didn't catch you. It's, I mean, it was, I think it was, well, honestly, it was just like my loss, really. Hmm. Yeah, uh, so what do you think it went wrong other than the client saying no? Um, it was just like a couple of careless things, and then and I didn't get to practice the map as much as I would have liked to think. So, so a bit of like, hmm. yeah, pretty much, right? I can kind. Of... Also, usually I'm used to like really like taking my time with these kind of with, with these maps. So, yeah, um, I mean, you're the type of person that takes. Hours, seven hours, eight hours. Yeah, and you know, like you double check everything because if not, I'll do something stupid. Like, so, Arcus, I have to ask, like, what was this, 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 uh, what? what was your early turn focus? What was your game plan going into the fight? Oh, sorry. What was your game plan going into today's match? What was your strategy? Because I knew time issue so I was like thinking of like capping everything I was trying to do like cap everything as much as that as possible so that we sorry no as the plan was well it was to try and cap as much of the map as possible in the time limit due to the restrictions but I couldn't manage that also because it's a bit too slow. 
moving, getting things mm -hmm. in execution. It doesn't help that you blocked. Like I, 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 I sort of time you lost about nine and a half to twelve minutes somewhere in there with the lag and constant restart. So that doesn't help at all. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, how do I say? it's pretty much a smackdown on certain sides. He pretty it's, I mean, has... it's pretty embarrassing. I mean, in the end, also, I didn't play that well as I could have. Yeah, so, I know, I know. Uh, Arcus, any, like, suggestion or recommendation to your uh, fellow EN uh, contestants who are, like, who is, who is going to contest in the next, uh, you know, few weeks, you know, two weeks? Yeah, Brecky is up next, mm -hmm. so what are you, you going to tell him? What do you have to tell him? I mean, I think I, I still think that capping the map is, I mean, as much of the map is, would have been a good strategy if you, because because of the time limit and it's really means that you cannot, you can't take too many fights. I mean, you could take more fights, but each of that, each of those eats into your points. Wow. If you can take as much of the map as possible, then you can also get to turn nine for the supply line and and okay. it's faster. Yeah. Yeah. You do mm. more. Did... Yeah. Great. And, Great. Uh, so, we... um, so, um, what do you have to say to your opponent, Sujun? Do you have any uh commendations or anything to Sujun? Or just me, Madam? Or... So I would, I would, have to... I would have to see, but I mean, it's okay. <laughs> I mean. Obviously, quite a skilled player, and he also plays a lot more than I did. I'll probably like have a, I'll probably have a look later and see what he did also because I have no idea right now. Like I was not paying any attention at all. To this yeah, thing. yeah, of course. Yeah, no, of you course. Shouldn't. Yeah, you shouldn't have to. <laughs> and with that, we uh, thank you, uh, Arcus, to give us this uh, exit interview. It's uh, hard to—I know it's hard to conduct an interview when you, you know, get you know, when you lost that badly. But uh, kudos to him for. Uh, <laughs> I expect that <laughs> Can you not do that, Dick? Can you not talk, she talk him that hard? But in okay? Dickus, we he tried it. his best. He tried it. He tried his best. You know, <laughs> going up against the. Um, Going up against uh, CN is a difficult task and everything. But either way, thank you, Arcus, for being here and participating in this meme fest, even though I dragged you in <laughs> without you actually knowing what's going on. I mean, it was, it was interesting. I mean, and a different challenge than what I just usually mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Like, even if it was a disaster. Do you want to do this again if we have this in PL or DR? I don't know. I mean, like, I think we said, oh boy. Time, the time limit feels very stressful. Yeah, the time limit feels very stressful. Oh, so you mean the one hour time limit is very stressful? I, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't, I, I'm not sure if I would want to go to try again, but I don't want to guess. I'm not, I'm not completely saying no. But, mm, we will have to see then. Yeah, we'll have to see then because um I don't think doing us doing us esports thing in PL is the best idea. Do you think uh, so, Nick? I disagree. I disagree. No. All right. Uh, with that, we conclude the uh interview with uh Arcus. Thank you for uh accepting the interview. And uh, with you didn't answer we... my question, Dick. What? <laughs> PL. Yeah. Do you yeah. think it's viable? Yeah. Uh, ooh, good question. I don't think. Yeah, no. Because it, no? it's a bit too RNG related. It's a bit too RNG uh, heavy on that. You know, it's, Isn't that uh, fun, yeah. though? It's fun. That's the fun. <laughs> yeah, and also the compliance is a problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. We, we, should do this in, we should do this in AWS. Yeah, yeah. when okay, whenever, I think it's better hardware. But, well, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Right. All right, so um, with uh, trash talking or PL done, um, we're gonna end the stream. So uh, before we go, I do want to say uh, the OMP and Brainlet panel is doing a post game tailgate as well for anybody who wants to join. Uh, our Twitter is G and K TV. Yep, same as our pre game show. So that's a post game show now. All right, post game show. Okay. 
with that, with that out the way, thank you so much for all of you being here. I know it's pretty much um, sorry for Ian, but yeah, uh, yeah. Next Why one, Ian? We'll see you guys next week with our who was it again? Yudachi. Yes. This boy, boy versus Dorothy. So boy's gonna win. No, no, I'm joking. We shall see how things go. Yeah, we'll see. Brecky, Brecky, if you lose, you have to quarter Dorothy on stream. <laughs> All right. Thank <laughs> you.